So it's been a while since I've made a music technology video, and I've been thinking recently about what music looks like. Not on the physical page, but sound waves. Is there a way to observe them? And unless you have a sufficiently fast enough camera, no, there's no way that you can observe them. But there is a way to indirectly observe them, and it involves one of my favorite things, lasers, and a few other things. First, we're gonna need something that can generate the electrical signal or the tone that we wanna to listen to. I've got an Arduino Uno here. I know it's a little overkill for this, but it has a built-in tone generator that we can use to generate the electrical signal. We can send that signal to a speaker. Now, this is the speaker that I have. I got it at my local um, electronics recycling store. Um, they break down old electronics and resell the useful parts. So um, I picked this up for like $5. But since the Arduino isn't powerful enough to drive that speaker, you're also gonna need an amplifier. So this amplifier is gonna take the tiny signal that's coming out of the Arduino and turn it into a larger signal so that it'll actually drive uh, that large speaker that we have. Now, we could program the Arduino to play a series of notes or a uh, melody or something one right after the other, but it would just keep on repeating that program over and over and over if we don't have any input. So one way to control that is with a potentiometer. Uh, we can use this potentiometer to change the pitch of the note that's coming out of the Arduino and the speaker just by sliding this back and forth. You're also gonna need a little piece of mirror or something very reflective that the laser can bounce off of. A balloon or another stretchy kind of substance. And a container. Um, I'm just using a candy container that I got at the local party supply store, but you can use almost any container. But before we put all this stuff together, let's prototype the circuit so that we make sure that it works. Arduino that's going to be generating the signal. Um, we can change the pitch by sliding the slider over here. It's sending that signal to the audio amplifier. The amplifier is then sending that to the speaker. So let's power everything up and see how it goes. So this is what I came up with for the setup. It's made of three quarter inch plywood and uh, there would be a bottom part that surrounds the large speaker and then another level for the container. One sec. So here it is after some more work. Those little pillars didn't work at all. This is where the speaker goes. This is where the uh, pitch control and volume knobs are gonna go. And then here's the other level for the container. Ah, much better. Now that it's all put together, it's a little easier to explain. So this is the base where we're gonna have our laser set up and our uh, viewing side setup. We also have our control panel up front that's gonna have our volume knob and our linear potentiometer. This box in the back that's gonna house the big speaker on this level. There's gonna be a ring of foam and then this level that's going to hold our container. And we've also got a couple of holes so that we can run all of the wires. So let's put it together.
also need to solder up a new audio jack because the one I was prototyping with was a little short and I have another one. And it also brings up a good opportunity to talk about audio jacks. Since we're only using one speaker, we only need a mono jack, which looks like this. It has uh, two shiny connections separated by a black stripe there near the end. Now, if we were using two speakers and needed a stereo connection, we would need to use a stereo jack, which has three shiny connections. Uh, one for the right channel, one for the left channel, and one for the ground. So one extra than a mono jack. Uh, you can also have even more uh, connections like on your modern headphones. They will have four connections. Um, the last one I believe is for the microphone or for data or something. Um, but easy way to tell between mono and stereo is look at how many shiny parts are on the jack and you can tell if it is a uh, stereo jack or a mono jack. Uh, thing. I don't know what to call this. If you have an idea of what this should be called, leave me a comment in the comments below. We have our laser speaker generating the sound balloon that we have the little piece of mirror glued onto. That's gonna wobble. And as the laser comes out of here, hits the mirror, and goes off, it'll take that wobble with it. And then we'll be able to see it on that side of the room. With our volume control and our pitch control, we can see if there are any certain pitches or volumes where this chamber resonates. All we have to do is turn it on and see what it looks like. So here's a quick video of the control panel and the output uh, synced together. So far, I've only been doing one note at a time because that's all the Arduino can support. But the great thing about the audio amplifier is that you can plug any device into it as long as it has an audio jack. So I plugged in my phone and used a tuning app that I have to play 
two notes at once and got completely different results. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to support the channel, please check out the Patreon link below. It'll have all the information on patron tiers and patron rewards. Thank you.